So now let's create a delete button or make the delete button functional. So I'm going to go back to our text editor and go to our index um, view page. And inside delete, we're going to create a form. Form and we're going to create a input of button or submit, actually submit. And we're going to give it a class of button button danger for uh, making the color red and that's about it and then for value we're going to say uh, delete for the form action we're going to go back to our command line and under our php artisan root we're going to go to uh, destroy so that's uh, a uri of tasks with a variable task a method of delete and a uri of destroy and a task controller um, method of add destroy. So we're going to uh, use this URI to access this and we're going to, uh, for the form action, we're going to uh, create root tasks.destroy. I think that's correct. If we go here, it's tasks.destroy. And we have to add in a variable for a task so we're going to put comma so we're going to put a square bracket um, tasks is equal to stored tasks id and for method we're going to uh, we need a method of delete but in the form html por portion we're going to put a method of post because that's what um, HTML understands, not what Laravel understands. So what Laravel does is that it puts a, uh, inside the form we have to specify the delete method. So to do that, we're going to put an input tag of type hidden, name as method, and value as delete. And this is a special Laravel um, instruction that tells it to use the, um, input method of delete sorry the input the the form the form method of delete so if we go back here I'm just going to format that and since it's a form we also have to add in a uh, cross-site forgery request um, field so csrf field And if we save everything here and we go back here, refresh the page, uh, undefined property, view, um, view not found. So our error is that we have a uh, S there, so we just uh, remove that. So it's store task at ID and refresh the page. We have our delete buttons. So if we uh, press delete here, we should go to the page uh, tasks and the variable is number four, but nothing should happen. If we go back for number one, we press delete and it goes to tasks one. So to make something happen, we have to uh, go back here and check out which, uh, which form uh, controller method it goes to. So it's delete tasks, task destroy, and then form controller task controller method destroy so if we go back to our controller and we go down we have a destroy method so in our destroy method we want to create um, a task variable defining the new uh, class task and then find with the ID so it finds the proper task in the database and just add task arrow delete which is a Laravel function and then we just return back to our redirect page. So root tasks.index. So if we test this out, go back here, and let's say delete put fuel in the car. So delete, and there you go, it deletes it right away.